Okay, here we are again. The creationism is based in different things, but the Buddhism is based in fewer things. The things that be, that that face the the that that are based on the on the Buddhism are actually more. Just when you look for them. In a, in a different way. For example, the Tao, the Tao, the the Qi, the Qi Gong, the meditation, the Bud, the the Dharma, the Buddha, and the illumination. All those things I know what they are, but actually they are at the end based in the same thing: Buddhism. But at the end also, they are not supposed to be together. Because when you pray, you are also meditating. I am going to pause the video now and I'm going to pray, okay? And you will see how is the difference in myself when I pray. I hope that you see it by the Holy Spirit, okay? Okay, I have just finished praying. Maybe you don't see the difference now, but you will see it now when I start explaining. This is worth five pesos in Dominican Republic, but in Peru there is one soul, and it's very similar in certain way. But the thing is that based on the value, the soul is worth more, but at the end, they are actually almost the same. Okay, why I comparing this with the soul? Well, because I want you to understand something. Idolatry is around us everywhere. And actually, the people who are living with idolatry, they pretend to live with better life, but they are living a very, 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 very difficult life. They don't say it, but I know it. Because I have, like, let's say that I have angel eyes. I can see the true reality behind all those movies that they make. I can see that actually they are lacking money, they are lacking stability, and they are lacking even security. But why is this happening? This is happening because of the creation, I mean the things, the thoughts that they have as the, their principles. And the Japanese, Chinese people have the best way of thinking about the division I mean I mean the the way that God thinks but actually that is not true. I will explain to you now here. Yesterday I was comparing the creationism with the Buddhism. In the first day you will you will not be able to see very much or very clear here but in the first day the earth was empty and was disordered and God said let there be light he said let there be light and let's say that this was a light like 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 a big bang let there be light and there was light but actually it was not a big bang it was just a source of light how he did so? Maybe he just opened, for example, do you see those holes that are in the, in the, in the, in the universe? He opened one of those holes that are actually without end at, at the, at, uh, in the, actually, uh, in the, now, nowadays, there are no one that have found an end to the holes that are in the universe. They are holes that are prepared like if like if God is working with it 
but you don't know what he's doing in them. So let's let's make here an example. He said, let's there be light. And he opened one of those holes and there was light. Okay. And he separated the light from the darkness. How he separated the light from the light, the, the darkness. It is like when you make a project, for example. If I want to make a house, if I want to make a house, I first know what I'm going to do. I say, okay, I want a house. But I need the limits of the house. How many kilometers in a, in a square it will take. Then I draw it and I finish it with just one space to the door of the entrance or one space to the door of the entrance and the entrance of the back backyard and that's it the light and the darkness when I say the darkness here is because the darkness was not totally darkness at all it was dark but it was it was at uh, as as a uh, slow dark because it, it, it was remaining light, light, but in there it was it was darkness, and that's why it was called more darkness than light. And even God said that He saw that the light was good. In other ways, the light remained more than the darkness. Because what is good remains more than what is not good. But at the end he was not saying also that darkness was necessarily, necessarily bad in those days. But he recognized first that the light was good. So we have to understand that limit. Until now in the creation that has a lot of sense. But if you go to the Buddhism... What do they what do they think? They think on the stage of illumination. They think that you have to stay illuminated so that for you not to die because they are very attached to something that is called karma. The karma is that when you do something bad, then something wrong also come to you. And I will tell you something, uh, the truth about he, about this. Uh, karma is not that, is not that does not exist. Karma is kind of the consequence of the sins. But it should not be called like karma itself. Do you know, do you, do you know why? Because, <clears throat> I will tell you now. Because if you sin and you ask for forgiveness, the punishment that will come to you will depend on the connection that you have with God. If you don't have connection with God at all, maybe the punishment will be worse. But if you have a very good connection with God, it is like if you have a, like if you have a, a good friend in the military, for example. And you had a fight, and uh, the person that was fighting with you was looking for, for to fight with you, and you broke one of his broke uh, bones, for example, which is something that I don't like to anyone. Okay, but you broke one of his bones, and you are condemned to go to the jail for three months, for example. But you have a friend in there that knows you, and he knows that you never look for fights. And he says, but you are not supposed to be here. And the, the condemn, condemnation is few words for you. They put may, maybe one month and 15, di 50, 15 days. So that's why I say that karma itself should not be, should not be seen like a, like a, like a, a path of coming forward and going backwards. Um, like, uh, 
like if it was a sentence of of a judgment it is not it's better to think on sin and the payment of sins if you sin at the end you will have a payment of the sin why because sin is easier to recognize and also sin is also easier to even do if you are faithful with little you will be faithful also with much says this said jesus but if you are not faithful with little you are not will be faithful with much jesus said that in other words if you believe in karma and you try to be faithful in much guess what you will not be able but if you believe in sin and you try to be faithful to God in what is least what is what is uh, great to accomplish without sin you will be able to see that it will be easy for you because you are you are faithful in in, in less in what is in what is short okay let's continue so when he separated the light from the darkness it's like that you understand that you have things that you should do and that you should not do the darkness are the things that are like the, the things that you should not do for example look if i throw this this crayon up and i have a, a good perception i will throw i will get it up again in my hand but if i am a bad person with perception which means that i don't have a good integrity at the end i will not be able to grab it let's see i grab it i will try to put it here Did you see okay it's it's like it's very easy but at the end it defines it defines a lot of things Okay, let's continue. Day number two. In the day number two, God separated the 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 heaven that are above the earth from the from the waters, and the vapor which goes up becomes the clouds, and thus those clouds are called the sky, and the ocean below is called waters. So he said, I will separate the heavens above the earth and waters, and I will separate the waters that are below on the earth. And that was the second day. And third day, he said, I want to make a separation of the waters between the waters that are on the earth. Now you will ask me, Reina, but how can you explain me that? Okay. Easy. Let's go to the example of the house again. I made the, the, the division of the first thing, the, the, the limits, from one stream to the other stream, okay? That was the first thing. The, th the second thing was that I wanted, for example, how many rooms? Three rooms, for example. One room, two rooms, three rooms. I will put one room and then I will put one bedroom, one, sorry, one bathroom in the, in the middle and then another bedroom and then one uh, bedroom uh, on the other corner and that bedroom will have a, a little bathroom in the, in the right side. And from the, from the, from the left side will be a door to go to the living room and all the bedrooms will have uh, doors to go to the living room. But no, the bathroom itself. The bathroom will be kind of heat because it's not good to have a bathroom like visible to everyone. Every house that I have seen that is very good constructed always have the bathroom like hidden. Why? The bathroom is like the last thing that you do. At least in my case, when I created houses, when I was a kid, uh, I left the bathroom to the end. I never constructed the bathroom. I created the space to the bathroom, 
like in the third day, for example, I divided everything. But I didn't put the, the toilet and the and the shower or the or the you know the the uh, all those things. I didn't put the the, the hands hands uh, cleanse, cleanser. I didn't put any of those things right away. I first concentrate on the living room, bedrooms. Actually, I concentrate first in the bedrooms, then living room, and then bathroom. That was the order that I did. Because if I if I have a house, if, and I know that I don't have much money, but I have filled the bedrooms what, with what I need, then the living room can be a, a humble living room. A humble living room. A humble living room and a humble bathroom. And that's it. From For the moment. And that's it. Okay, let's continue. Then, here, the, 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 the day number four. Okay, here, the name number four. Let me see where it is. Here, the day number four. God said, let's create the creatures that are above the waters and on the sky. And that day is like, for example, when I enter to the house and I start putting in there the living room uh, coach, the living room television, the, the, the bedroom the clothes to the to each uh, uh, bathroom, and the, and also the the birds are like, for example, the 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 bathroom. Why I say the bathroom? Because in the bathroom is where you usually uh, relax yourself. You take a shower and you feel relaxed. That is why creationism is like the process that. Every creation that we do, always do, always, always come over and over and again. It is not too as too abstract as the Buddhism. Buddhism is a style of living, but it's not the 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 origin of the life itself. I I read that the, that in Chinese. There are, there, are, there are people that are starting to believe that, they, that Buddhism actually do, does not have a very good base. And to be honest, I want to congratulate those people that are coming in their mind. Because it's true. How can you explain the birth of someone just because he was meditating and the Buddha get to the illumination state and he said all his life and he got the, the golden eye? That is a lie. Jesus said that all those people that came before him are robbers and, and uh, deceivers. Okay, then number five. In the name number five, let me see. Yes, yes, this one. In the name number five, God um, decided to create the the grass, the the trees, and everything. I want to I want to tell you something. The creation is kind of flexible in these two days specifically. Do you know why? Because you can, you can twist them, and it do, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen anything. Why? Because I can come to my house, for example, and I can make a a, a buy for the foods that we will have for a whole month before having the couch of the living room, having even my bedroom, because maybe they are bringing my bedroom and they will come in the night. But I can go to the supermarket and buy the food that I will need for me to eat today now, right now, in just fewer, fewer time than the bedroom and all those things. 
how I why I compare the bathroom with the with the birds of uh, of the of the sky and the animals of the water and the couch. Look, when you are looking at the television, you are like diving. And when you are using the computer, you are like diving. Even there is there is tutorials in, on internet that that they start saying, "Let's dive into this this this." And even as a developer, I can I can tell you, for example, I created a whole project in less than two weeks with DigitalOcean, for example, and that was incredible. They offered me one month for free. I used it. And I created a selling website almost eight years ago. And it was a very difficult website. But I didn't have any problem to do it. Because it was like diving. I was diving and I was not against the basement of the creation that we have passed from. While the Buddhism says you are condemned to die and, and and rebirth again, everyone is condemned to die and rebirth again. But you can stay in the stage of illumination, and the stage of illumination can give to the master the stage of staying, even if, even if he dies. That is a lie. And sorry because I'm, I'm being so honest, but that is a lie. Now, even the Tao, oh yeah, listen, Tao has has kind of sense. Tao, the, the Tao is not bad, but the Buddhism is 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 taking it to a is taking it to extreme that is not good. Why I say that Tao is not bad because Tao only says that. It, it is it is just the jing and the junk and that's it and that is truth. Jing and junk is like what I said from the beginning, good and bad in representation. But Tao actually is limited to the energy and the energy that the body has. But actually, the energy is not here on the belly, as many people think. The energy comes from the heart. Because what is more important? The blood that circulates over all the, all the whole body or the energy that comes from the, from the inhalation and exhalation of your body. It is the blood that comes from your heart. That's why in the book of, Pro of Proverbs says... Above everything, save your heart, because from it comes life. And now you will ask me, but how can you compare the energy with the blood? Because blood is the soul, and the soul actually is, is more like the power of the human to live. It's true, that is true, but I am comparing it because there are people that think that the base of the leaf of the life itself is in the jink and jank, and it is not true. The jink and jank is a representation of the energy, but it is not exactly the life itself. Life itself is represented more in the heart. How is explained then the life itself? Life is the process of you rebuilding yourself to love yourself and others in the best way you could do with the best principles and immortal that you could ever do. If you do it, then God is guiding you. But if you don't do it, you can be the best master in Tao or Buddhism and at the end you will die maybe even younger than what you think. Okay, let's see. The, the day number five, as I said, Jesus, Jesus decided to, mm, 
to divide something. And in the day number, the, 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 in the day number six, Jesus, sorry, to create something. In the day number six, he created uh, also, sorry, in the number, day number five, he created uh, the, the fruits. And I say like this because this, is, this has been adulterated. When I was a kid, in the, in the day number five, God created um, the, the other animals. And in the day number six, he created the grass, the plants, and the human being. But this has been adulterated in, almo in almost all the Bibles. And, I, and they thought that I will forget. <laughs> I, I, I am a believer of Jesus since I am like, like, like even with conscience of my mind. But okay, so that is the creation. If you compare that with the Buddhism, I will leave it even to you. And you will see that it doesn't have sense. Creationism is the best way to live. Because, because this market, was created by someone. This, even that is, this is money. This is also created, this is also a creation of someone. Even this glass of water, maybe empty or no, someone put water on it or, or someone created the, the, exterior part to contain the water so meditating you will not doing so you will do you what but what I recommend to the people that meditate is that they stay in the limits that meditation gives meditation helps to relax yourself to to learn to Grow in perception, to know yourself, in yoga, for example, and all those things, but not creating things, understanding my birth, uh, watching my life as an, as another you, as another natural uh, being, for example, as an animal, blah, blah, blah. that is not good. I am a very good person meditation, in, in meditation and I, and I have never even wanted to see myself in other lives. But I will tell you a truth. Animals, when you are good in meditation and you are good in your heart, that it, which is the more important thing, when you are good in meditation, animals become, become like your friend. They pass close to you and they don't do to you anything. Or you pass close to them and you can tell them it's quiet and they obey. Because your heart, when you are a good person with meditation, your heart in your and your spirit is fed correctly. But you have to meditate thinking also in Jesus. Because he was who created the world. It is not difficult. The thing is that we are not humble enough to want to accept him. If we accept Jesus, our life will be much more easy. I mean, much more... Uh, clear it is we it, it will be like a path in a way cleaner for us to walk it is a proverb that says the way of the judge is a path like plain but the way of the unjust is rough so I will leave to you this this treating, look, look. 
The spirit is what is what brings life, said Jesus. You have you need to have love, peace, justice, and misericordia. That fits the spirit, okay? That fits the spirit. Two. Two, the source of life. Love without perversion. Love without perversion. Love without perversion. Love without manipulation. Love with humility. And love to be humble, to accept Jesus Christ. God bless you, which is Jesus, my friend.